The unification and training of the unified forces would not be completed before the formation of the unity government this week, says the interim chairperson of the Arigemic Agustino Injoroje. Injoroje echoed the sentiment during an assessment visit to unified VIP training center in Korom to see how unification of the forces is going on. Injoroje said some of the recruits are lacking uniforms. We have analyze the situation and we find there's no way all the units will be unified before the date. But that is not a big problem. So long as they continue to train and to unify, this can be done even in the transitional period. So long as it's going because it cannot, uh, it cannot be completed and it should not delay the formation of the government. While representatives of the guarantors from Sudan, Abdel Munim Jalal and Paul Okej of Uganda, respectively called on the forces to maintain discipline and patriotism. The region is expecting a lot now that the gun is quiet in South Sudan. And we would like this gun to be silenced for the rest of our lifetime. What we are now expecting is development and building institutions. But it is up to you to give security so that these institutions are built. Days are running out and we know in the shortest time you are going to be deployed and we are going to talk to JTSC to ensure that you have all the logistics required to ensure that you are deployed. <laughs> في حاجة مهم جدا جدا انت لازم تلتزم به وتكون عارفه وتلتزم به وانت تكون يعني ملتزم به التزام تام ده شنو ده اللي هو الضبط والربط Meanwhile, a member of the Joint Transitional Security Committee, Major General Rin Mapor, said they are training more than 42,000 unified forces in the first phase of the forces as required by the agreement. The number required is ready from the government and opposition, they are unified. They are going under a health care and orientation. What we are doing here is reunification, orientation, rehearsal. Why? Because they are already trained soldiers. The unification of the forces is a requirement of the agreement on the resolution of conflict in South Sudan that is started with cantonment selection, then a screening and here the training on unification so that they all answer to one commander in chief. According to the authorities here, Gorom Training Center is home to 30,339 VIP forces, more than the required number of 3,000. These are special forces selected from various units brought here. There is no more screening here. The, the increase in number are the instructors and the protection force. For SSBC News, I'm Emmanuel Patrick, Gordon Training Center.